Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, September 3rd, 2018, and I want to talk about Ian M. Banks' The Culture. I'm a little obsessed with the culture novels. They paint this amazing picture that is both beautiful and unsympathetic toward utopia. What is the culture? It's the post-scarcity science fiction, sort of like the logical extension of Star Trek, although I think that's maybe unfair to the culture. There's post-scarcity advanced artificial intelligence and technology indistinguishable from magic. What I think makes it unique compared to other sort of space operas is it really takes seriously this idea of a post-scarcity utopia, both from the good and the bad. The culture is sort of Liz limit as liberalism goes to infinity. There is no punishment for anything. If you do something wrong, they put a drone on you to keep you from doing it again, and that's it. There's built-in drug glands. You can have any drugs you want anytime you want. There's a fully mutable appearance. If people want to change their biological sex, they just change it. It's fine. No undesired aging, no undesired pregnancies. These only happen when consciously desired. There's no social sexual constraints, no scarcity, no ownership, no money. So I think in some sense it's liberal ideas taken to their logical extension. Ian M. Banks is skeptical, clearly, about whether this is a good thing. It's lovely for the people who love it, but for people who don't love it, it can be pretty frustrating. Uh, it's not utopia for everyone. Some people and some whole societies don't want to give up on the idea of ownership, on ambition, on punishing the wicked. Uh, one former slave escapes her old society comes to the culture and they won't help her get revenge and she sees the culture as very unjust and decadent. That all being said, <laughs> it's clearly a desirable place to live for most people. A Reddit thread talked about what civilization you'd want to live in in science fiction. I said you can't answer the culture, it's a cheat answer because you're wishing for more wishes because in the culture you could simulate any other scenario in a very pleasant way. You want to go to school at Hogwarts, you can simulate that. Uh, do you want to fight Darth Vader? You can simulate that. And all that raises this question of whether we're in a culture Roy simulation at this very moment, pretending to be 20th century humans at the dawn of artificial intelligence. And that sort of metaphysical question does get addressed in the series, which I think is an achievement at a philosophical level. In Matter, uh, one character suggests that the only way we can know that this is the real universe is by how much suffering there is. No just civilization would go to all the effort of building a universe simulator and then put terrible things like cruelty and injustice in. Since there's cruelty and injustice, at least we know we're in the real universe. And as soon as he makes that argument, he completely blows it away in another book by saying, look at, in surface detail, he says, what if a society wants to punish its wicked, wouldn't they invent a simulation of a sort of stereotypical hell in order to put the consciousnesses of their wicked into it? What if we're in that universe? What if we're in some better universe's hell? So there's no, there's no proof either way that this is real at all. So anyway, if you like these ideas, I think that the the culture books are amazing. I would start, if I were going to start over, with The Player of Games because it's a fairly linear plot that takes place both a lot in the culture itself and a lot on the margins of the culture. There's plenty of, of both adventure in the non-culture and the sort of hedonistic indulgence that exists in the culture. So what's the point of all this in terms of science? Well, I think there's two things. One, I do think that it's worth considering visions of the future, and utopian visions especially, in order to find motivations for science. But secondly, I just think if anything is going to relieve the stress of over and over failing to accomplish one's goals in the lab, getting out in nature and thinking about a little science fiction, something fun to read, is definitely a step in the right direction.